Hollywood. Here's the game where knowledge is king and Lady Luck is queen. It's the Joker's Wild. And now here's your host, the star of the Joker's Wild, Brandon Scrub. Hello, guys, and welcome to the Joker's Wild here on Brandon Scrub's channel. Obviously, Brandon Scrub is not hosting because it's the April Fool's episode. So. I'm taking his duties. He'll be taking my duties of Tic Tac Joe sometime this week. But for right now, we got two players that are vying to win a lot of money on Joker's Wild. And um, we're going to announce our players first. Who's, uh, who's our challenger? Our challenger is Uh, I hosted Joker's Wild before. This is a special occasion with Tim on it. So are you excited of me hosting again, Tim? Yeah, it's going to be a very interesting show. I will say that. Well, good luck to you today, Tim. On Joker's Wild, hope you win, hopefully you'll win a lot of money. Thank you very much. And our returning champion who has won a nice total of $19,000. Unfortunately, he had to deal with the devil. His name is A.J. Richards, and also he's a millionaire on, on Tic Tac Go. Hey. How you doing, A.J.? I'm doing well. How are you doing, Rodney? <laughs> I'm awesome. Well, are you ready to uh, build up your own um, money? I hope so. Tim's a very strong opponent. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Come on y'all guys and i'll explain the rules of joker's wild the object of joker's wild is to spin the wheels that are on the screens and in each reel there are categories and jokers okay now if you get a single it's worth five hundred dollars a pair is worth one thousand dollars and you manage to get a triple or a natural triple that is that's two thousand dollars and a secret prize package okay now, if you get a Joker in your reel, a Joker could be is wild, and you can make it any category you wish to make it. Okay. If you get three Jokers in a row, all you have to do is answer one question, and uh, if you answer that one question correctly with the three Jokers, you'll go up to five thousand dollars and go to the bonus round. Okay. All right. And the first player to five thousand dollars or more will go to the bonus round and play the Beat the Dragon game, which is. In this case, I believe it's winning ten thousand dollars, right? Actually, first off, it is the face the devil round. <laughs> right, I do this all the time. Face the devil. Right? And I believe the Joker's jackpot currently sitting about a hundred and five thousand dollars. It's a hundred five thousand. Okay, it's a hundred and five thousand dollars. Okay, so y'all guys ready to play Joker's Wild? Yes, sir. Yes. All right, here are the six categories we'll be done with, and they are the following. We have the NBA, the running game, book of the Bible, big word, zero science, and April Fool's Day, in honor of April Fool's Day. Okay? Uh -oh. The challenger always go first, and that is you, Tim. Go ahead and give it a nice spin. All right, let's go ahead and spin it. General science. General science in front of you. Oh. I'm gonna go with funny games for five hundred. Right, funny games for five hundred. You'll have thirty seconds to answer the question. Here's your funny games question. A tennis ball is typically which color? Is the A green, B black? C blue or D yellow? Uh, it would be yellow. You have five hundred dollars. Good job. All right, AJ, give it a spin. Let's spin. General science. General science and a Joker. What do you want to do, AJ? Let's do general science for two thousand. Two thousand dollars. This will give you a nice, healthy lead. Here's your question. Known as the father of nuclear physics, which of these men is credited with splitting the atom? 
Is it A, Sir John Percy, B, Sir Henry Adams, C, Sir William King, or D, Sir Ernest Rutherford? You bet the choices. A, Sir John Percy, B, Sir Henry Adams, C, Sir William King, or D, Sir Ernest Rutherford? Sir Ernest Rutherford. You got two thousand dollars. Good job. Nicely done, Two thousand to five thousand is your spin, Tim. Oh, I'm already got my workout for me. Uh, let's get some jokers. Let's see. Uh, NBA. Books of the Bible and General Science. All worth five hundred dollars. Which one? Uh, I'm gonna try Books of the Bible. Awesome. Okay. For five hundred dollars, here's your question. And what book can the following warning be found? It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living God. Is it A Hebrews, B Romans, C Acts, or D Second Peter? Uh could you repeat the question and the choices again? In what book can the following warning be found? It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of of the living God. Is it A Hebrews, B Romans, C Acts, or D Second Peter? Uh, I'm gonna say a book of Acts. Acts is incorrect. No, you can't don't say the answer. Don't say the answer. Okay, um um uh AJ, you can get the five hundred dollars. Is it A Hebrews, B Romans, or D Second Peter? Is it Romans? Romans is incorrect. What's your answer, dear? It is Hebrews. Good job, dear. All right, two thousand to um five hundred. AJ, give it a spin. A spin. April Fool's Day. Funny games and April Fool's Day. Let's do April Fool's Day for a thousand. All right, let's see what this is about. Here's your question: April Fool's Day. In Scotland, April Fool's Day is often called Hunt the Golf Day. What is a golf? Is it A, a fairy, B, a witch, C, a bird, or D, a wild pig? Keys to Gawk. G O D, excuse me, G O W K. I believe that'll be a bird. A bird is correct. Good job. 3,500, and it is your spin, Tim. All right, I need to get some jokers in the worst way. Come on, let's go. Books of the Bible and a joker. What do you want to do? I will right, try again. Books of the Bible for two grand. All right, books of the Bible for two thousand dollars. This will take you to twenty-five hundred. Here is this question: Where can the final words be found? The stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. Is it A. First King? B. Psalms, C. Isaiah, or D. Jeremiah? Okay, I'll repeat the choices. A. First King, B. Psalms, C. Isaiah, or D. Jeremiah? I'm going to take a guess and say Isaiah. Isaiah is incorrect. I'm sorry. AJ, you can win this game if you answer it correctly. Where can the following words be found. The stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. Is it A, First Kings, B, Psalms, or D, Jeremiah? Psalms. You won the game! Good job, AJ! That's not those nice for you. And just the devil. Yep. You have a total of 24 thousand dollars AJ at the moment and uh Tim we give you a thousand dollar constellation prize and thanks for playing Joker's Wild. Thank you for having me Rodney go get that devil agent. No problem and we're gonna take a quick commercial break and then we'll do the beat the devil face the devil game. We'll be right back next week. Hello guys one two seven sign and welcome to Joker's Wild and Tim not him, but AJ with $24,000. AJ, are you ready to uh, face against the devil? You're not afraid, nope. are you? Oh, oh, oh. Well, come over here, Jimmy. Face the devil, man. Beat the devil. Come on, come on. 
formidable opponent right here. Hmm. Yeah, you bet. You feel confident? Actually, I feel a little nervous. He's Don't good. Be. Hopefully the categories will work out for you, okay? And I I've only had one win this series, and I hope to at least get two or three. Well, good luck to you, Cody, and good luck to you, AJ. Here are the six categories we'll be dealing with, and they are the following. We have State Capital, Music, Star Wars, Jazz Room Trivia, Pop Culture, and we have that April Fool's Day category. And Cody, since you're, in the, you're the challenger, go ahead and spin. All right, let's go. Joker. Joker! Music. Oh. oh, music two G's. All right, music for two thousand dollars. Here's your question: A fast lead. One of the world's best-selling rock bands. Who is the lead singer for Def Def Leppard? I repeat it again: One of the world's best-selling rock bands. Who is the lead singer from Def Leppard? Is it A. Rick Allen, B. Phil Collins, C. Joe Elliott or D. Rick Savage? Rick Savage? Incorrect. Oh. I could steal the money from um, from uh, Cody, AJ. Is it A. Rick Allen, B. Phil Collin, or C. Joe Elliott? Joe Elliott? You have $2,000. Oh. Nice to uh, Should have listened to Shadow Stevens more. Yeah. 2000 to zero. AJ, That's you're the <laughs> Award. Joker and Hasbro Trivia. Hasbro Trivia for a thousand. Your question. What toy substance was originally used to clean wallpaper? Is it A, Play-Doh, B, Silly Putty, or C, Flubber? Silly Putty. Silly pot Putty is wrong. Cody, you can take his $1,000. Is the answer A, Play-Doh, or C Flubber. I think I'm just thinking Play Doh. Is that your answer? Yes, sir. You got a thousand dollars, nicely done. Two thousand to one thousand is your spin, Cody. All right, let's go. Music. April Fool's Day and a Joker. If I take music, could that be for like for a thousand? You can take music for a thousand with the Joker. All right, let's do it. Music for a thousand, your question. Which American singer-songwriter traditionally began his concert with his signature Folsom Prison Blues? Is it A, Elvis Presley, B, Willie Nelson, C, Chris Christopherson, or D, Johnny Cash? Wouldn't that be Elvis Presley? Elvis Presley oh. is wrong. AJ, you can take his $1,000. Is it um A? Is it no B? Wilson C? Chris Christopherson or D? Johnny Cash? Is it Johnny Cash? Yeah, thousand dollars, AJ. Good job. Three thousand to a thousand, and it's your spin. Let's spin. Joker, pop culture and music. Pop culture for a thousand. First time in that category is your question on pop culture. Which 1992 British Irish psychological thriller film had the title of The Soldier's Wife? Is it A, Hidden Agenda, B, Crying Game, C, In the Name of the Father, or D, Five Minutes of Heaven? Five Minutes to Heaven? That's incorrect. Now, uh, Cody, you can take his $1,000. Is it A, Hidden Agenda? B, Crying Game, or C, In the Name of the Father? Crying Game? That is correct. Good job. Bias. Each other's question. Of course, 3,000 to 2,000, Cody, your spin. Let's get out of this music question. Our culture. State Capitals and music. Oh, there we go. State Capitals. Okay, for $500, there's your question. Boston is the capital of which state? Is it A, Massachusetts, B, New Jersey, C, Pennsylvania, or D, Missouri? 
Boston, Massachusetts. You have five hundred dollars. Good job. Three thousand to twenty-five hundred. AJ, you're spin. This is turned to a nice game. It is. Let's spin. 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 Which artist became the youngest woman ever to be included on the Forbes 100 Most Powerful Women list in 2015? Is it A. Ariana Grande, B. Katy? Excuse me, I repeat that again. Is it A. Ariana Grande, B. Katy Perry, C. Lady Gaga, or D. Taylor Swift? Um, is it Ariana Grande? Ariana Grande is wrong. Pronounced Ari it's pronounced Ariana Grande. Right, Ariana Grande. It's wrong. Cody, you can uh, tie the game. Is it B, Katy Perry, C, Lady Gaga, or D, Taylor Swift? I'm going to think you guys say Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga is wrong. I'm sorry. Oh. No, that C is Lady Gaga. The answer is Taylor Swift, y'all. Taylor oh, Swift. Oh, no. The country. All right. But it is your spin, Cody. I'm telling you, this music question is not helping. Let's keep going. April Fool's Day and music. <laughs> we can't leave music alone, can we? Let's try that again. You want to try music again? Okay. For five hundred dollars, which pop artist starred as Molly Stewart in the Disney Channel TV series Hannah Montana? I don't need the choices. It's my. Go ahead. It's Miley Cyrus. In 2006. <laughs> yes, it is Miley Cyrus. Yes. <laughs> we have a good game going. AJ going to spin. Spin. Star Wars. State capitals and pop culture. Sloppy spin. State capitals for 500. <laughs> okay, here's your question on state capitals. Nancy is the capital of which state? Is it A, Michigan? B, Minnesota? D, South Dakota, or D, Wisconsin? Michigan. There you go. You got $500. Close game. 3500 to 3000 Back to you, Cody. Keep going. National trivia. Joker and music. Oh, it's my cell phone. Um, you know, let's try national trivia for a thousand. Okay, here's a question on Hasbro Trivia for a thousand. What toy was created by the son of famous architect Frank Lloyd Watt? I'll try again. What toy was created by the son of famous architect Frank Lloyd Wright? Is it A, Legos, B, Lincoln Logs, or D, Connect? Um, Legos? Legos is incorrect. You can uh, steal it, AJ. Is it A, Lincoln Logs, or C, Connect? Lincoln Log. That is right, a thousand dollars. You just five hundred dollars away from winning the game, AJ Glass. Music. April Fool's Day and Hasbro trivia. Just what I need. Uh, Hasbro trivia for the win. And that is all you need. Now you get this question right on Hasbro trivia, you'll be at five thousand dollars, and your wins will be at thirty-three thousand. $750, I believe. All right, here's your question. He actually is an action figure. For uh, for $33,750, unlike Ken, go Joe. Who is this action figure? Uh, Gold Joe? You said... Yeah, he's actually, he is an, actually an action figure. Yeah, unlike Ken, go Joe. Who is this action figure? G.I. Joe? You have won the game, Mr. Joe! Wow! That is a fifth up to $33,750, AJ. And you're going to go ahead against that mean old Lucifer the Devil in a minute. Well, <laughs> Cody did Whoa. well, man. We give you $1,000 as a consolation prize, and I congratulate you. Okay. That was close again. Yeah, very close game. Y'all both played well. I know the spins were kind of tough, but that's okay. So you'll definitely play another game. 
And we're going to take a commercial break. We'll be right back after this, y'all. Wow, that was a quick commercial break. That commercial break was so fast, I couldn't uh, take a breath. Anyway, hey, you ready to go ahead against that devil? Yes, sir. Come on over here. All right, AJ, you know the rules. Go ahead and take that big lever and spin. Spin. We signed today, as we said, a trip to Montego Bay and a joker. Very nice. So that queen size bed and sweet says worth fifty-seven fifty-four. A trip to Montego Bay is worth sixty-six ten, and that joker is worth ten thousand dollars. So those are total twenty-two thousand three hundred and sixty-four dollars. You get another spin. A spin. Here we go. Joker, Joker, Joker! Very nice, AJ. That's a fifty thousand dollar cash bonus for these three jokers. Seventy two thousand three hundred sixty four dollars, and you have a shot. Right. Pick a good one. So let's go with one. He was by one. Is a new. Chevy HHRLS was $17,854. So this bonus round is worth $90,218. Now, uh, AJ, if you get three jokers on the rails, we give you a $115,000 bonus. Do it on your first spin. We'll double that bonus to $230,000, okay? And it does come out there, as you know. So go ahead. Let's spin. You want to take that or I'll keep going? I'll keep going this time. Go ahead. Let's spin. Five The devil is not being fair with anybody this weekend. Well, you still have your previous winning, AJ, of uh, $33,750. And we have time for a third game, so we'll be right back with that third game after this. While we're zipping through these games, quickly, we actually have time for a third game. And our next opponent is Benjamin. James Mason, how you doing, Ben? April Fools! Yep, April Fools indeed. Good, good, thank you. You ready to play Joker's Wild? The Joker's Wild, not Tic Tac Doe? Of course, let's play. All right, here are the six categories we'll be dealing with, and they are... We have Superhero, The Zodiac, Currency, Who Am I? And the price is right. All right, Ben, you're the challenger. Go ahead and spin. Spin. Superheroes, superheroes in the Zodiac. Ronnie, superheroes. All right, here's your question on superheroes. If General Zod was in the area, who would you have to call Superman. for help? That's right, Superman's right, good job. We're giving you a chance to read the choices. Okay, thousand to zero, go ahead, AJ. Currency, spelling bee is spelling Spelling bee for a thousand. All right, here's your question on spelling bee. Having, gel having gelatin helps strengthen your nails. Spell the word gelatin. Gelatin, G-E-L. A T I N gelatin. That's right. Good job. It's a tie game. One thousand to a thousand. You're in spin bin. I thought you eat gelatin. Anyway. Who am I? Who am I? It's going be. Who am I for a Grover? 
I hear the $1,000. For those of you that don't know what a Grover is, that's the president that is on the $1,000 bill. Okay. They ain't, that, 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 is, that does not exist then. Here's your question. Yep. I am an American actor best known for my role as Captain Benjamin Sisko on the hit sci-fi TV series Star Trek Deep Space Nine. For $1,000, who am I? You got me. All right, AJ, you can steal his $1,000. I am an American actor best known for my role as Captain Benjamin Sisko on the hit sci-fi TV series Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Who am I? William Shatner. No, not William Shatner. Good guess. The answer is Avery Brooks. Avery Brooks. One guess it. Scores 1,000 yards spin, AJ. Okay. Joker and Spelling Bee. Spelling Bee for a thousand. Alright. Here's your question. This globe trotter, let's try again. This globe trotter loves to travel. For one thousand dollars, spell the word globe trotter. Globe trotter. G L O B E T R O T T. E R Globe Trotter. Nicely done, good job. <laughs> Two thousand to a thousand, and you is your your turn, Ben. It's better. Price is right. Who am I and a Joker? The price is right. Four thousand. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. On the game, Fangers. How many steps the mountain climber has to climb before falling off? Would that be 25? That is right. Good job. You tied the game up to $2,000 a piece. It's your spin, AJ. Let's spin. Joker. Joker and the Zodiac. I'm going to do something risky. I will go off the board for superheroes for 1000 Ah, probably a smart move. Here's your question. In which city might you see Spider-Man swinging from building to building? Is it A, New York, B, Chicago, C, Detroit, or D, Dallas? New York. Nicely done. 3,000 to 2,000, and it is your spin, Bill. Joker, who am I? And a Joker. Ronnie. Let's go for the price is right for $1,000. Okay, going off the board, he can do that. Here's your question. How can, how can a player win at double prices? Choose the right price out of two, of course. That is right. Good job. <laughs> is that 3000 to 3000 is your turn, AJ. Thank you. Who am I? Who am I? I am a joker! Who am I for 2000 And you can win, I believe, executive producer, it's his sixth yes. win? This will be your sixth win. Here is your who am I question. This will bring you to $5,000 in the game. But however, if you miss this question and Ben gets it, he'll be the new champion. Very important question. With the help of my husband, I discovered two new elements, polonium and radium. I was the first female to receive a Nobel Prize and the first individual to win it twice. For $5,000, who am I? Marie Curie. You win the game, AJ! Well done, AJ. Thanks, Wow! Well, AJ is picking up a winning here too, Brandon. So you have won five thousand dollars in just a moment, AJ. You're gonna go ahead against that double shortly. Well, Ben, we give you one thousand dollars, and um, um, you'll definitely play again, okay? 
Say spin when you're ready. Spin. A hundred and a hundred. Not a good spin. Six hundred dollars. We'll see what happens with that. Now we have you. How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. So where are you from? I'm from Dallas. Oh! You like video games? Well, not much. Okay. You think you could beat six hundred dollars? <laughs> this is gonna be easy. Well, we'll see. Uh, Go ahead and give it. Come on! Five hundred dollars. Well, oh, that's gonna be tough. Eight hundred dollars. That's gonna be tough to beat. And we have Ben. How much? You have eighteen hundred dollars, Ben. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, that's that's gonna be tough, Ben. Yes, Ronnie. You know you got a tough task. Eight hundred dollars is a good oh. score, but you but you can do it though. So you ready? To give it a spin. No, I'm not. But I'll do it anyway. Go ahead. Come on. Let me give y'all your money. 
Nels, here's your money. Yes. Here's, here's 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. There you go. And uh, Ben, you have 1700 dollars I'll get the thousand. Thousand. Five hundred dollars Five hundred. Seventeen hundred dollars. Seventeen hundred dollars. There you go. That will Thank buy you, you a nice uh, hot dog. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll get a ketchup too. <laughs> and uh and Ian, you have eighteen dollars now. That eighteen hundred dollars is yours to keep. Now do not have to go all the way if you want to. But if you do go all the way and get the ten thousand dollars or more, let's see that prize wheel. You could win these prizes on the wheel. You'll determine your fate in the prize wheel. Go ahead and spin it, Ian. Spin. You have a Joker, a digital piano, and another Joker. Whoa. That digital piano is $3,995 plus $20,000 in cash. That's $23,995 if you have another spin coming to you. Let's do this. <laughs> For $48.99, those two jokers are twenty thousand dollars. You're up to forty-eight thousand eight hundred ninety-four dollars. Let's see what the end. I hope so. Which number do you want for your car? Number two, please. Oh, it was number two. Oh, it's a Cadillac Deville. Oh my God. For $365, so your bonus moon is a pilot drone. $95,259. Oh, wow. Now, Ian, if you manage to get three jumpers in your spin, did you get $25,000 bonus on top of everything? And also, if you get a joker, each joker you get is $1,000, win or lose. Don't get the double. If you get the double, you know what happens. So, so go ahead and spin. Let's go. We don't have time for hundred right now. There we go. One thousand. 
Seven. Eight. Eight. Oh, not that. Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. Eleven. Plus, I owe you eighteen hundred dollars from the board. One. One thousand. Nels. Five hundred. Hey, no. Justin, I win. You did? Are you kidding me? I did get twelve thousand two fifty to forty-five hundred. Plus, plus you guys are coming down on top of it, uh, Ian. Another forty thousand dollars check. Yay! A check. Get me. So you got all your cash and your prizes. You have one hundred and six thousand two hundred fifty-nine dollars plus the previous winnings that give you a total of one thousand sixty-nine dollars. Wow. Well, guys, that concludes the Joker's Wild. Uh, I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything from the devil now. Uh. That's because I had to go lock him back up in the cage. <laughs> I have a shit for my cage. You got holes inside of him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want. I just want to say th uh, thank you to Rodney for hosting this special April Fool's Day episode of the Joke of Wild. You did a great job. Round of applause for him. Yay. You, can, you can check out his channel online as well. It's uh, search for Rodney1279. You can check out his channel some great game shows there and we'll be back to we'll be back to me taking back my own show next time jokers wow we aj sixth aj six time champion now with over forty thousand dollars all in cash winnings will he be able to beat the devil i don't know we'll have to wait until the next episode but until until then uh, thank you guys for watching. Remember, if you like to see, click the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more great game shows here on my channel. And also ring that bell. That way you never miss a video from MBG Productions. And until we real spin your way once again, I'm Brandon Scruggs. Thank you for Rodney Flippin' and the rest of the gang here. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time here on The Show of Wild. Bye for now, folks. This is Michael Gentry speaking for The Joker's Wild, an MVG production in association with the YouTube Games and Entertainment Team. Don't forget to subscribe to the Democratic Network for great more content like this one.